The Angels of Mons On the 22nd and 23rd of August 1914, the first major engagement of the British Expeditionary Force took place in Mons in Belgium. Advancing German forces were thrown back by heavily outnumbered British troops who had suffered heavy casualties. They had been outflanked and were forced to retreat. Arthur Macken and the Bowmen on September 29, 1914, Welsh author Arthur Macken published a short story entitled The Bowman in the London newspaper The Evening News. It was inspired by accounts that he had read at Mons, and an idea he had soon after the battle. Macken had already written a number of factual articles about the conflict for the paper, and he set his story at the time of the retreat at the Battle of Mons in 1914. The story describes phantom bowmen from the Battle of Agincourt, summoned by a soldier calling for St George, and destroying the Germans. This story wasn't labelled as fiction in the same edition of the Evening News. To quote Arthur Macken's introduction to the bowmen and other legends of war, he states, It seemed that my light fiction had been accepted by the congregation of this particular church as the solidest of facts and it was then that began to dawn on me that I had failed in the art of letters. I had succeeded unwittingly in the art of deceit. This happened, I should think, some time in April, and the snowball of rumour that was sent rolling has been rolling ever since, growing bigger and bigger until it is swollen to a monstrous size. Around the time variations of this story were being passed around, and some had claimed that soldiers had been found with arrow wounds, the angels. The stories of the angels and mystical beings continue to spread, and an account was published on the 24th of April 1915 to a British spiritualist magazine telling of visions of miraculous intervention to help British soldiers in the decisive moments of battle. Such supernatural wonders included medieval longbow archers aside St George, luminous clouds, angelic warriors, Atrocity reports like the rape of Belgium and that of the crucified soldier paved the way for the belief that the Christian God would intervene directly against such evil. In May 1915 a full-blown controversy erupted as an angel sighting was being used in British sermons as proof of divine providence on the side of the Allies. Newspapers also spread the reports of divine intervention and was published worldwide. The stories continue to be used for the duration of the war, with the media using it as propaganda. It was also used to boost the morale of the British soldiers. The rumours circulated after the war, which the story of the Angels of Mons was a popular rumour of the soldiers in 1914, evidence of this being provided by Brigadier General John Charteris, memoirs of GHQ published in 1931. References of the story can be found in World War I set novels and films like Fairy Tale or True Story. The friends of Arthur Macken frequently publish stories on developments in this case.